A monochromatic light strikes a single slit and forms a diffraction pattern on a screen. If the central maximum has a full angular width of 4 degrees, at what angle from the center of the screen is the first brightish fringe next to the central maximum? We have a single slit diffraction, so the pattern on the screen will be like this. If I mark equal distances over here, the m equals to 0, that's the center of the screen, and then the 1, 2. The, there is a central maximum that is twice as wide, and uh, that's at the center right here, and it occupies two spaces. So that's the central maximum. And then all the other bright fringes, they are half the size, and they equal sizes like that. Okay, and uh, the central maximum has a full angular width of 4 degrees. That means that this angle here is 4 degrees. And in equations, because uh, all the angles or y's, they are measured from the center of the screen, so I'm just going to look at the angle to the center of the screen, that will be 2 degrees. And that's when the m equals to 1. Now what we want is the first brightish fringe next to the central maximum. So that will be the first brightish fringe next to the central maximum. For this fringe, the m value is uh, between 1 and 2, that is uh, 1.5. For a single slit diffraction, we have d sine theta equals to m lambda. And the d and the wavelengths are the same. That means uh, the sine theta would be proportional to the m value. Now, for small angles, we know that the sine theta would be proportional to theta. Because uh, if I plot the sine graph, we get a graph that's like this. When the angle is small, this part here is like a straight line. So it's linear. That means uh, for small angles, the sine theta would be proportional to theta. Since the sine theta is proportional to m, the order number, that means uh, theta would be proportional to the m, the order number. For 2 degrees, that's m equals to 1. And now we want the angle for m equals to 1.5. That means the m has changed by a factor of 1.5. That means the angle should change by a sta the same factor. So the angle would be 2 degrees times 1.5, which is 3 degrees. So the answer is B. A student acquires a thin filter that transmits only half the incoming light intensity. She decides to test the effect of the filter in a double slit interference experiment by placing the filter in front of one of the two slits. Which of the following can happen to the fringes on the screen? A. The bright fringes become brighter and the dark fringes become darker. B. The bright fringes become darker while the dark fringes become brighter. C. Both the bright and dark fringes become brighter. D. Both the bright and dark fringes become darker. E. The fringes disappear from the screen. With the filter in front of one of the slits, the wavelet from the slit with the filter would have a smaller amplitude. This means the constructive interference would get a smaller displacement and therefore the bright fringes would not be as bright. As for the destructive interference, when peak meets a smaller trough, the displacement does not cancel completely. Therefore, the dark fringes would not be as dark. So the answer is B.